from another world A year can be a day Turn your eyes to everyone And come here anyway As a kid, I always believed that skateboarding was my ticket out of my hometown. But I never imagined that it would take me all over the world and be my career for 20 plus years. In that time, I have never forgotten who I am or where I come from. I never lost touch with that wide-eyed 14-year-old who discovered and fell in love with skateboarding on the streets of Edison, New Jersey. What's up, man? Good to see you. Those were the most crucial times of my life, those early years of discovery, and I carried them with me to this moment. It is my roots that have kept me grounded, humble, and appreciative through good times and bad, through all the hype and indifference. Yeah, pretty good to me. How long have you guys been skating? A few months? Oh man, that's cool. I've been skating for almost 25 years. <laughs> that's like over the limit for pro. Over the limit. You might be right. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> Cover our whole world in gold From my window I can see into the future One electric net glows into the darkness Burns the chill out of the night The trouble that it might invite Later, man. Later, Mike. See you, man. I have never forgotten who I am or where I come from. I am and always will be Mike Vallely from Edison, New Jersey. Several times a year, at least, I find myself back in this area, this region, and specifically my hometown of Edison, New Jersey. Something just keeps calling me back. The memories don't get really that intense until I'm 14 and I start skateboarding. That's where my life really begins. And really, I, I have a story for every crack in the sidewalk. I didn't have a lot of friends growing up, but skateboarding changed all of that. Suddenly, I had a peer group with the same interests as me, and we had a thriving skate scene. Yeah. Yeah. Al Battagliati was one of the best skaters in our town, but unlike me, he wasn't a show-off, so he never got the recognition for how good he really was. But being a hardcore skater, he has always remained involved in skateboarding, opening his own skate shop in our hometown, Central Jersey Skate Shop. Hey, Mike. Hey, man, welcome home. Thanks, man. Right on. <laughs> Hi. You're my wife, Helen. Hi there. And this is little Al. Little Al. You yeah. made it. Future shopkeeper. <laughs> right on. So how long good. you here for, man? Uh, a couple days, man. Awesome. Place looks great. Thank I you. love the new shop. It's I'm liking that, huh? I like the, I like the like boards on the like wall, Mike, Mike V collection. Favorite skater of all time. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Want to go skate? Of course, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Edison. <laughs> all right, Mike, we're here. Nolan Skate Park. Backyard skate park, huh? Yeah, the place we never had growing up. I want you to meet the two luckiest kids in town. Nice. Yeah. Jimmy, Billy. 
Come here, guys. Jimmy and Mike. Yo, what's up, man? This is my belated birthday present <laughs> to you. How's it going? Nice skate park you got here. Mike Schwartz grew up across the street from my grandparents. We went to the same schools, played on the same baseball team, and started skating together. Although Mike stopped skating at some point and became a police officer, he has always remained supportive of the skate scene in Edison. I look back when we were kids, and I didn't quite get you then, but I feel like you were something that we didn't know. Now that we look back and say, wow, that's pretty awesome. And now you're on the other side. What's that like? It's, it's, it's cool because, you know, I can roll up on kids skateboarding and I'd be like, do I gotta get out of here all the time? I'm like, no, no, you gotta show me some cool new tricks. <laughs> yeah, I may be wrong, but I, I credit you with pretty much discovering East Coast kind of skateboarding. I know there's some great ones out there, but you actually put us on the map. And, well, I mean, Al, I picked up so many tricks from you that I became known for, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's unbelievable. <laughs> It truly means a lot to me to, you know, have this connection to you guys and making me feel so, like, good about you know, where I come from and my past here and, and we're so proud of you Mike. Yeah, we're proud of you. <laughs> proud about you all the time. It's, hey, it's always good to come home but it gets better and better and I'm right on man. <laughs> Thanks for coming Mike. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks Mike. Yo, man. <laughs> Mike V. <laughs> What's up, Ron? Hey, man. How's it going? Good to see you, man. Yeah, same here. Good to see you. Who's this guy? This is Rowan. It's my youngest. Hey. This is Kiernan. He's four. What's up, buddy? Oof. And this is Ty. He's 12. What's up, Ty? How's it going, man? Cool. Rodney Smith was my mentor when I started skating. I met Rodney when he worked at a store in the local shopping mall that sold skateboards, and I was lucky enough to be taken under his wing. Rodney had been skateboarding for a long time, had been to California, skated with the pros, and harbored a knowledge about skateboarding and a passion for it like no other. His friendship was one of encouragement and kindness, and it meant everything to me. All right, well, you want to get rolling? Sure, let's do this. All right, it's good seeing you. Uh, hey, buddy. Bye, guys. Hey, brother. I'll talk to you. Right, uh, I'll talk to you later. I'll be good for you, brother. OK, bye-bye. Give me a kiss. Bye-bye. All right, see you later. All right, be good, Rowie. Thanks, Ty. <laughs> Rodney has remained active in skating all of these years, forming the original Shut Skates brand back in 1986. He was also an integral and founding member of the Zoo York brand until resurrecting Shut just a few years ago. This is it. Yeah, man, looks killer. Boards look great. The shapes, too, man. To me, it's like a lost art, you know? Boards with shape. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, you remember when, when, you know, back in the 80s when we were skating, I mean, there was variety. You know, there was something to really choose from other than a graphic, you know? And you sort of identified with the board that you chose for that year or for that month, you know, you identified with yourself within that shape, and uh, I felt that Shut would be the ideal brand to reproduce that, you know, for the times in a, you know, the most positive way possible. That's what I think a, a good skateboard does. Just get a good vibe off it, man. Makes you want to go ride right now. Let's do it. Head over to the banks? Yeah, man. Rodney was the first person to expose me to skateboarding outside of my hometown. It was with Rodney that I took my first trip into New York City to skate. And it was Rodney who introduced me to what would become my favorite skate spot of all time, the Brooklyn Banks. To be here 2008, <laughs> New York City, the Brooklyn Banks, yeah. chilling with you. I think probably my all time favorite place to session. certain the first time I ever came here was with you. I had the honor of having you in my public domain part right. in Escape the Banks with me. Oh, that was cool, man. If we died the day after we filmed that video, yeah. Yeah. we were in a Powell Peralta video know, together. Right? <laughs> That's pretty heavy, man. <laughs> How long have you been involved in skateboarding now? I've been skating for 31 years. I've been in the 30? industry for 21, so. What, what year did you start skating? I started skating in 1976. Um, so you got into skating when skating's dying in the 70s. Yep. I started skating in the mid 80s. What was happening during that whole time period between when you got into it and I got into it? I made great efforts to try to be a support group to, to keep recruiting kids back into skateboarding because I knew what it did for me and I knew the feeling I got from it, you know, and I, I, I realized that kids could find themselves through skateboarding. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> Up until that moment, me and the guys that I was skating with, we were just kind of fending for ourselves. And I felt like it cared right. about me and my buddies and the fact that we were getting into skating. So that idea of being a recruit, you were there for me pretty much from the beginning. I mean, my skating up until this moment is like, you know, it starts there. It really starts there, you know? skaters that have been in contact with, you were always the one that took it to heart and, and always took it serious and always listened to everything that I said, you know. Sometimes you need that person, that person there to like believe in you, you know, and dude, you were that guy for me, man, and I, I don't know, I really didn't know how to thank you for that, man. Hey, man, it's nothing to really thank for, you know, I, I'm, I'm thankful even to, to have the opportunity to, to spend the time and, and watch you, you know, build on your, on your skating and that, that's just big for me, just to even be involved with somebody else who, you know, who has the same train of thought as myself. The positive words, man, the impact they have on me, like, and I feel like I can, like, whenever someone's doubting me or where I come from, I drop your name. I grew up skating with Rod Smith, and that's, to, to me, that's like street credibility, man. It's, it's, a, it's a real pleasure for me to, you know, to be here now with you, talking to you this this many years later, this many kids later, you know, and you know, and hear you say these things, and just you know, well, I really appreciate it. You know, I appreciate well, it. Well, they're true, man. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Dude, for real. I mean, for real.
to come back to Edison now and to be received so warmly by a whole new generation of skaters and kids and to see some old familiar faces out there still cheering me on means everything to me. This town is where I started riding. This town is where I fought for my independence. This town is one I had to leave to grow and become the skater and man that I am. But it is also a place I think of fondly and hold dear and continue to come back to. Check it out. This is my man, Rodney Smith. When I, when I started skating in 1984, Rodney was the first guy that I ever got a skateboard from. He was the first guy that took me under his wing, spent real time with me out in the streets, teaching me the ways this guy was skating long before I started. And the most beautiful thing is, he's still skating today. And Rodney was the only guy, the only guy that told me I could do it. Yeah. Yeah. Rodney, Rodney was the only guy that believed in me. We need more men like you, Rodney. Yeah. yeah. Rodney. We, we need more men like Rodney. Yeah. So hey, check it out. I came a long way to say these things for my friend, about my friend. And it's a long time coming, because I've never said this to him, and I should have said it a long time ago. It means everything to me. So thanks for coming out. Yeah. Oh yeah, one other thing, one other thing. I got something to give to Rodney. The good people at Jeep gave me a car to give away. And I couldn't think of a better person to give this car to than Rod Smith. Rod, that's your new car, man. Let's go for a ride. We're going for a ride. You're driving, Rod. No way, Mike. Look at this thing. It's fully decked out. I can't believe it, bro. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm stoked for you, man. I'm so glad to do this, dude. Man. I don't even know what to do, dude. I don't even know if I should drive it. No, we're going for a ride, man. Wow. We're going for a ride. Wow.
coming home, having a home to come back to, makes the miles bearable. My kids, my wife, and my home life complete me. I'd only be half a man if I didn't travel the globe skating and promoting skateboarding. But none of it would have any significance to me without my own family to share it with. I believe we can have it all. Our careers, our passions, and our family. And we can succeed at it all with love and kindness in our hearts. I am living proof of this ideal. This is my drive.